Well, joining me now is Dr. Sasa, who's representing Myanmar's parliament to the United Nations. Uh, Dr. Sasa, I understand you're in an undisclosed uh, location. You escaped the coup on the 1st of February. Just explain the circumstances you're in at the moment. On the 1st of February, men in the guns robbed our democracy. They put 54 million of our people under siege. They arrested illegally our leaders, and I was asked to escape as soon as possible for my life so that I can speak to the world. It take me three days and three nights to escape from there, and now I'm in a relatively safe place. It sounds like uh, that the military are cracking down hard now on protesters. Uh, what are your concerns? They are aiming to harm as much as possible to put the suffering and the pain of the people of Myanmar into the maximum and their snipers are on the high, aiming to kill, shoot to kill. They have declared the war on the people of Myanmar and tried to harm as many as possible. And they are prepared and will get created that all the people who are against them will be killed or arrested or destroyed completely. What are you hoping to achieve uh, personally as, as a voice uh, on the international stage, as it were, representing uh, the, the people of Myanmar, those who voted uh, for Aung San Suu Kyi and her party to be in power in the November elections? The people of Myanmar want democracy. The people of Myanmar want freedom. We don't want to live under oppressive military regime again. And now, again, this is the, the military regime that has took the power once in 1962, once in uh, 1988, and again, they, crime, they committed crime against humanity on 1997, and 2007, and 2017, and now, again, 2021. And now I became the face and the voice of my people. And I'm asking all the world, the free world, the democratic world, to respect the voice of the people of Myanmar. On the 1st of February, my people, the people of Myanmar, went to elections. They have elected member of parliament to represent them, the people of Myanmar, for the people of Myanmar. So I'm asking the whole world, particularly the free world and democratic world, to stand with the people of Myanmar, never again with illegal, illegitimate military junta. All right, Dr. Sasa, thank you for being on the programme on BBC News, uh, joining us live.